Hello, boys and girls. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today, we are here to talk more about place value. Today, we're going to be talking about specifically reading and writing numbers in three different forms, standard form, word form, and expanded form. When you're talking about standard form, that's the form that you are most commonly referred to. It's when each number is represented using digits 0 through 9, and each digit is in its own place value. So we've looked before at our place value chart. This is an example of a place value chart where digits have been placed in each value on the place value chart. When I look at those digits and the value that they represent, I can write them in standard form and it would look like this. It's basically pulling those numbers out of that place value chart, but now they all have their own place to go and each one of them has its own represented value. So this number would be 780,390 and it is written in standard form. Another way I could write that same number is in word form. When you write word forms, you're writing or saying the number using words. Again, I have my place value chart with the exact same numbers, but this time if I was going to write it, I would write 784,390. Notice I'm going to put a comma in between each period. So between my thousands period and ones period, I need to have a comma. If I was to have a number in the millions period, I would have a comma after the millions as well. Also notice that when you're writing a um, digit that is representing a tens and a ones, you're going to put a hyphen between those two. For the number 90, I had a zero, so I didn't need a, a hyphen, but if it was 94, for instance, I would put 90 hyphen 4. So make sure you always use those commas between your periods, even when you're using words. The final way that we're going to talk about is looking at expanded form. Expanded form is writing the numbers by or writing numbers by writing the sum of the value of each of the digits. So again, I still have my same number, but each one of these digits represents its own value. So when I write it in expanded form, I stretch out those values in those digits and I write it like this. So my seven is in the hundred thousand, so I'd have 700,000 plus my eight is in the ten thousands, so I'd have 80,000 plus 4,000 plus 300 plus 90. Again, if I have a zero in any of those place values, I would just leave it blank. I do not need to write a zero. If it's helpful for you, just so you don't get confused with the place value that they're in, you could add all zeros, but it's not necessary. So those are the three different ways that you can use place value. You can write it in standard form, word form, or expanded form. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Click below if you liked it, and please subscribe for more fun math videos.